The senior minister, Mr. Yao Osafomafo, says the first priority of the government is to fist the macroeconomy to make the country conducive for investment. Speaking at the Ghana Investment Summit, Mr. Osafomafo said the various tax reliefs outlined in the 2017 budget are designed to stabilize the economy and make local and foreign investments thrive in the country. The Ghana Investment Summit 2017 is organized by the Ministry of Finance and the Ghana Investment Promotion Center, GIPC. This is to bring together entrepreneurs, executives and investors from across the world to share ideas on areas where investors can operate. Ghana has a long history of taking a pragmatic approach to its relations with foreign countries. The private sector is considered as the engine of growth and as such several reforms have been enacted to improve the business environment. This is because several investment opportunities abound in Ghana's valley. The senior minister, Mr. Yao Safu Mafu, said government would provide an enabling environment for the private sector to thrive. This, he said, would be done by protecting investors' capital and know-how. We are saying that the problem Africa suffers is that the protection of investment is not too guaranteed. And therefore, the risk, even in terms of measure, is too high in Africa for foreign investors. Ghana's risk will be as low as the risk you find anywhere in Europe. Macroeconomic stability is built around three pillars, monetary discipline, physical discipline, and financial stability. The finance minister, Mr. Kenneth Uriata, said his ministry is poised on building a stable macroeconomy with evidence in the various tax reliefs outlined in the 2017 budget. Undergirding the budget that we did uh, was what we also called uh, the preferential option for the poor, uh, which basically is saying that you need to get a stream up uh, because that then becomes uh, the people who consume. And when you also begin to talk about equity and fairness, um, to have a, a society that is robust and sustainable, um, you cannot um, leave out um, your social interventions in a real way. <clears throat> because in the end, the human capital is what makes all the difference. A Deputy Minister for Trade and Industry, Mr. Robert Aum Kalinsi, said Ghana is an ideal place for business. Therefore, transformation would be taken to the doorstep of the people, citing the One District, One Factory Policy Initiative. Ten years after the discovery of oil, Cosmos Energy says the creation of many related industries will provide Ghana with an engine to drive growth. The chief executive officer of Cosmos Energy, Mr. Joe Mensah, said Cosmos will continue to invest in creating a sustainable oil and gas industry. The managing director of Ecobank, Mr. Daniel Saki, said banks are leveraging on technology, hence the introduction of mobile apps by banks. These apps have made mobile products convenient and affordable for the low-income Ghanaian. The chief executive officer of Ghana Investment Promotion Center, Mr. Yofi Grant, said the summit would position Ghana to become the premier investment hub in Africa as foreign investors are wooed into the country. All our revenues was consumed 107% by just three expenditure items, um, salaries, um, interest payments on debts, and then statutory payments to agencies like the Get Fund, etc., etc. And therefore, Ghana had very little fiscal space to do any development. So it became very important that we should go out and then um, solicit and, in, and attract investments, both indigenous and external. Considered as one of the best governed countries in Africa, Ghana is now attractive to investors seeking stability in a region.